what would happen if you just went with life without setting goals or values? You'd never make it where you wanted to be, right? You'd always be going in the wrong direction. That's why you should begin with the end of mind. Hi, my name is Macy Reed, and today I'm going to be talking about beginning with the end of mind. Beginning with the end of mind means developing a clear picture of where you want to go in life or what you want to do in life. It means deciding what your values are and setting goals for them. The past you take today can shape you forever. You're free to choose what past you want to take, but you can't choose the consequences that come with it. Without beginning with an end of mind of your own, you often end up following someone else who's willing to lead, even into things that won't get you far. If you want to know how to begin with the end in mind, all you have to do is write a personal mission statement. A mission statement is a credo or motto that states what your life is about. So what can writing a mission statement do for you? It can do a lot, actually. The most important thing you can do is open your eyes and help you see what's important and help you make decisions in life. What can writing a mission statement do for you? It can actually do a lot. The most important thing it can do is it can help you open your eyes to what's important to you and help you make decisions. The important part of developing a personal mission statement is discovering what you're good at. Everyone has a talent, a gift, or something they're good at. Another thing you need to do to develop your personal mission statement is to get to know your deeper self better. So that way you have a better idea of what inspires you, what you enjoy doing, where you want to go in life, or whom you admire. How have you got started on your mission statement? Here are four different steps that you can take. Method one is the quote collection. Choose some of your favorite quotes. Great quotes are very inspiring and they put feelings into words. Method two is the brain dump. Just speed write for about 10 minutes. Don't stop, just keep writing. Don't worry about what's coming out. Put all of your ideas on the paper. If you get stuck, reflect upon some of your answers. And at the end, you can rearrange anything that you feel like needs to be fixed. Now that you've got your imagination working, you have a rough draft of your mission statement. You can go back and add to it. You can edit it. Do whatever you want to do with it. Make it inspire you. The three is the retreat. Find a place where you can just be alone, where it's silent and nobody can bother you. Just sit there and think deeply about life and what you want to make of it. Take your time and construct your own mission statement for the big lazy. See, most people, they make the mistake by spending so much time trying to make their mission statement perfect that they never get started. You're better off making a rough draft of your mission statement and then going back and editing it, adding to it, and just learning as you go. Mission statements come in many forms. It can come in the form of a poem, a song, one word, many words. It can come in a collage of just pictures. There's not one single right way to do it. You can do it in any way you like because the mission statement is not for anybody else but you. Now that you have your mission statement, you're going to want to set goals. Goals are specific and can help you break down your mission statement into pieces. Making goals for yourself, it's important to consider the benefits. A written goal carries 10 times more power. When writing, it forces you to be specific, which is important in setting goals. Facts and tragedies can serve as a springboard for change. They motivate you and make you stronger. Learn to harness the key moments, set goals, and make commitments when you're in the mood to do it. Sticking with it even when you don't want to do it, will bring out the best in your character. You'll accomplish so much more if you rope up and borrow strength from other people around you. Life is short, so make your life extraordinary. Ask yourself what makes you come alive, and go do it. We may not all be able to do great things in life, but we can do small things in a greater way.